Hey everybody, I am just doing a quick follow-up video to the video that I posted a few days ago where I showed you how to do today's lessons all on one page and each one of the subjects would link to an individual page within the post and would allow students to complete all their work in one place. So I had some questions on how I created this. So I'm going to show you really quickly, go to the add, post student work, drawing right here, and then I don't know if you know that there is a Seesaw extension, but it is a lifesaver. So all I did was Google some iPad clip art, and I found one that I like. I'm going to go to the Seesaw extension. It asks if I want to do the whole visible area or just the selected area. Then I can select the exact one that I want. And what I love about this is it goes right into my Seesaw page. So now I have the template for the iPad right here. Click on the three dots and I'm going to lock it into place. Now I want to create the circles that would allow me to do the subjects. So I'm going to go to the three dots, go to shapes, I'm going to pick the circle, put that one into place, and then I'm going to duplicate. Go to the three dots, duplicate, and duplicate. Now there's six in my original, I'm going to do three really quickly. Remember when you click on the shape you can come over here and you can change its color and there you go. Now the next thing I'm going to do, you can lock these into place if you would like, and then I'm going to go to the label feature and I'm going to create a box and I'm going to go to my emoji keyboard. Now the first one I want to do is my reading activity. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to click on these three dots because I definitely don't want this black box around it. So I changed the format, I went to style and I did the clear. Then I'm going to make this box as small as I can and then I can increase the image here. Okay. Now I have this all set here. What I can do is I can go to the three dots now and I can see that there is now a link button. When I click on the link, oops, before I do that, I need to add a page. So I'm going to the right side, I'm adding a page here. All right, now let's go back to here so you can see what this looks like, oops. Go to the three dots, go to link. Now it'll let me link directly to a website or I can go link to page and now I can click on page two. So when a student is looking at his lesson for the day, if he just clicks on the link, it will take him to his reading assignment. So I'm gonna show you this really quickly again. This is my read, oops, how if I spell reading right? Reading homework here. Now I'm gonna go back to my um, extension. I go to my reading A to Z account. I found a passage that I would like the student to do for fluency. I go to the extension and I'm gonna select the area that I want to add. And now it shows up right into my drawing again. So I'm gonna put this over here on the side. And what I love about the new features is that they really are going to help our youngest learners with directions. And sometimes that is us giving them in person. But this is like cloning yourself when you go over here. Go to the camera. I can click on the video. When I do, it's going to enable my camera and I can record directions. I'll show you what this looks like. So I'm going to click on video. And now I can record. Hi boys and girls, today is your Fluency Friday. I would like you to read the passage, remember to hit the record button, and then go back to the home page to complete the rest of your work for today. Okay, so now when I'm done, I have the ability to go up here and click done. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna put my video right onto the page. So I can move this stuff around, I can make my video first, I can make the passage second. I can add arrows for students. So here I could go back to shapes. I can click on this arrow. And the reason why I'm clicking on the arrow is especially for our new students who aren't maybe familiar with Seesaw yet, I'm gonna point right to the microphone. So now they know exactly where to put that. And I wanna make sure that they watch this first. So again, I can go to the label button. I can click my emoji keyboard and I'm gonna click on the eyeballs here. And you can see I'm just gonna move those right here and make it nice and big. Now when I'm training my students, when they see the eyeballs here, they're gonna know that I want them to watch something. So here they would click watch my video that tells them exactly what they want them to do, then they would complete the activity. 
Now, one more thing that I added that I thought was going to be a really great way for little students to remember to go back to the first page or the home page is that I can go here, I can click on upload, and I just happened to find some clip art again, but I already had saved it to my desktop, so I'm going to use it here. And I'm going to use this little home icon. Now, this is not the exact picture I wanted. This was out of there. And it's just the home icon. But what I love about this is that if I click on the three dots and I link, I can now link back to page one. So when students are complete with their assignment for the day, they can come back here and it will link right back to page one. So they completed the first assignment. It takes them back to page one. Then they can click on the next subject and the next subject. I hope that quick tutorial helped you out and that that really works for you. Good luck.